Hey guys, here with another Android video. In this video, I want to share with you guys a very awesome browser that just came out a couple weeks ago, I think less than a month, and it's called Next Browser. Um, also, this browser is created by the Go Launcher developer team, which they do an awesome job with their launchers and apps created for the launchers. Um, let's go ahead here. When you open it up, like this is the first thing you're gonna see. This is the first thing you're gonna see with all these icons. Um, all these icons right here are your favorite sites you just created. You just add them right here, like you see right here. I could go ahead and add, um, for example, I could add Facebook. And like you see right there, it creates a very cool icon. I could go ahead and keep adding more if I want, like for example, eBay. And like you see, it creates a very cool icon. So this is very good to have like your favorite sites right here, which is awesome. Also here, this over here, like you see, it has a search bar. When you tap on there, it will start listening and start searching. Let's see. Like you see right there, start listening and start searching. Also, which is very cool, it lets you uh, switch between search engines very easily just by tapping this Google um, icon right there. When you tap on that, you could go ahead and switch to Wikipedia, Yahoo Search, and Bing, which is very awesome. All you gotta do is tap on one of them, and that's it. Now you are using the Yahoo Search, or you could go back and go to back to Google, that's very cool that it has that options right there very easily to change. Also, like you see over here, it has like three little tabs or three little icons. You can swipe this side and right here you're going to see your top sites and whatever recent tabs you have closed. If you swipe over here, you're going to see this awesome, very cool news aggregator which is embedded in the browser. Look at that, in the browser. All you got to do is swipe a little bit to over here and you're gonna have your today's news and from here you can actually open any news that you see and for example I could go ahead and tap on that one and I could go ahead over here and share it on Google Plus on Facebook on all the, any social network also you can have you have the options over here to uh, control the size of the of the text and everything like here like you see right here everything has very cool features for a news aggregator integrated into a browser which I never seen before and they do an excellent job doing it it looks very nice very cool also this browser also has um, JavaScript runs JavaScript so it can run also flash web websites as well which a lot of browsers right now are not doing uh, especially like Chrome um, here when you swipe all the way from the edge you could go straight to the um, tabs and you could create another tab or you could tap over here and it takes you to the same space, same, same, same spot. You see right here? Or you can swipe from the corner right there. Looks very cool. Over here you can also choose different um, bookmarks right here. You got your bookmarks right here, accessible. Very nice. If you tap over here, uh, also you can also click right there and over here you could go ahead once the first time you tap on that it's gonna tell you hey you wanna import your bookmarks from Google, your, your Google account yes you choose that and it will automatically put all your bookmarks from Chrome over here like you see right here these are all the bookmarks from Chrome very very cool uh, that's you can do it here you can see the history you can go back Let's go back over here. You could use the buttons over here, the physical buttons as well. Over here, if we tap here, we go to preference. In preference, you can also choose a different agent website. You could use a web, the use it as mobile, use it as desktop, or use it as an iPhone browser. Uh, search engines, of course, you can also change your search engines from here. But I think it's better changing it from the little circle like I showed you guys before. Here in this place, you could auto fit pages, load images. You can set it to load images only on Wi Fi. That way, the pages will load up a lot faster if you are mobile. And enable JavaScript, auto rotation. And everything else is, you know, self explanatory, nothing special. You can set it up as your default browser. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Um, how the flash works here so you guys can see the difference between 
um, the Chrome and and this browser like you see right here this is a page called we choose the moon uh, this is totally flash so but like you see uh, flash today's day is being made just for um, just for um, desktops let's go ahead here because flash is not really meant for be mobile like you see there we're on time at the present time. For That's very cool. Lift off of 32 minutes past the hour. It's tap right there. Conductor Skip Chauvin now has completed the status check of his personnel in the control room. All reports they are go for the minute. You see, this is totally flash. So obviously, this is not going to be running on any browser like Chrome. I just want to show you guys how it looks. Sequence start. Six, five, four, three. <laughs> Two, one, zero. All engines running. Lift off. We have a lift off. <laughs> so that's very cool. Like you see, this pop, this browser is flash. So if we go, let's go ahead and quit that. Let's go and quit it. I'm gonna quit. If we go to over here and I try to run the same site, let me see if it catches. We okay right here. If I go to the browser, it tells me right away you can't use it because you need to get Flash. And of course, you can't download Flash on mobile browsers from this click. By clicking there, you can't just install Flash on your phone. Like you saw right there, it worked perfectly with the next browser. Perfectly great. So that's very convenient for some websites that are not gonna work on mobile over here let's go ahead and do a uh, peacekeeper test benchmark test and compare both benchmarks uh, um, just keep in mind my save my power saving is off so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna do it first here I'm gonna wait and jump right to the end so you guys can see the score so I can go ahead and do it on the chrome and see both scores so you guys can see the difference okay so here it is look at the score 736 that's a very very good score not bad at all so now let's go ahead back over here now let's go ahead and try with Google Chrome here this is the Google Chrome and let's go ahead and set it up okay so here it is and this is the Chrome score 591 like you can see, the next browser is way, way faster than the Chrome, and it also runs JavaScript and Flash um, websites, which is not bad at all. Look at that score, 736 and 591. Uh, I'm telling you guys, this um, browser feels very, very good, very um, fast. It also feels, you know, for being the first version of this browser, because if we check over here, let's go back over here, and let's go back in about, like you see, this is version 1.0. This is 1.0, and for being 1.0, I got to say, it's running very lag-free. It's running almost, you can't see any problems whatsoever. Um, but, of course, there's going to be a lot more updates coming to this browser. Like, one of the updates that I hope they actually come up with is full browser, full screen browser. Please bring that. Because um, Chrome just got it like a couple weeks ago, the full browser. So, I hope um, next browser gets that too. If they get that, I think this is a perfect um, browser that can easily replace um, Chrome and it also has this feature right here which is very cool for people who like to you know, like me I like uh, news aggregators and having it right here integrated seamlessly with the browser that's awesome for me that's an awesome feature and of course the if you don't like go using Google um, Google search which I doubt it um, of course, you got the options for Yahoo, Bing, Wikipedia, and also you got Baidu. You can choose it from the settings. And this is a very cool feature as well. You can put here your favorite um, browsers, your favorite um, websites, like over here, The Verge. Boom. It creates a very nice icon there, which is awesome as well. And of course, I think that's the limit, eight. I don't see no other plus signs, but that's good. 
And other than that, I'm telling you guys, this is a very good option. And go ahead and try it. It's totally free. There's no price for entry. So that's it, guys. This was a look at Next Browser made by the Go the, uh, Launcher development team. Till next time, guys.